Hey everyone, I'm Hunter Morris, and I have a list of every movie I've ever seen ranked from favorite to least favorite. At the time of making this video, my list is a little over 1400 movies, which is fucking insane. I always judge how much I enjoyed the movie at a personal level, along with how much I respect it for its cinematic quality. It's a lot harder than you'd think to compare, say, Schindler's List to Toy Story 3. Now, this list took me years to make, and I thought it was a unique enough take on reviewing movies to finally start putting it out there on the internet. I've been posting reviews for a while now and wanted to try something different. I've been in self-isolation due to the coronavirus like everyone else, so I figured what the hell. It's either this or take my online classes. I wanted to make a YouTube channel because, as someone who watches a lot of movies, putting visuals side by side with my thoughts on film seemed like a fun way to spend my free time. I plan on keeping most of my reviews in written form at my website, morrismovielist.com, and on my social medias which I'll link down below. So I'm going to use this channel for if I want to go into any deeper dives on movies I think deserve a longer discussion. Plus, I have a couple other ideas I'll release every now and then. So for my first video on the new Morris Movie List channel, I wanted to talk about why it is exactly I've watched over 1400 movies. I wanted to make a short video about why I fell in love with cinema in the first place. I attribute my love for movies to the most random film, Alexander Payne's The Descendants. This was the year my mom and I decided to watch every Best Picture nominee together, and The Descendants was one of the first R-rated movies I ever saw. I'd never seen anything like it. I could tell immediately the acting was better than what I was used to from High School Musical or Camp Rock 2, The Final Jam. It dealt with heavier themes like death and extramarital affairs, which were definitely not in High School Musical. Watching all of the Best Picture nominees that year changed my life forever. Now I'm in business school with the full intention of working in the movie industry someday, and I'm constantly on Twitter and Letterboxd for new recommendations. The main reason why I watch so many movies, especially right now, is that they're an escape from the mundanity of daily life. For a couple of hours, you can march in a parade with Ferris Bueller, go to space with the Enterprise, or witness the debauchery of a Jordan Belfort type from the comfiness of a warm blanket and your couch. Growing up in the suburbs, I often feared remaining stuck in the same mundane rhythm. Especially with the structured schedule of high school, every week became a loop of the same daily activities. Ever since I saw American Beauty years ago, I've related deeply to its themes of wanting to escape that same mundanity Lester Burnham feels. Movies like American Beauty helped me to find the beauty in the smallest things, especially the beauty in a film as good as that one. My French teachers in grade school started a film club after school, and I was one of three students who joined. They opened my eyes to a cinematic world that expanded right before me. As the incomparable three-time Oscar winner Bong Joon-ho says, once you overcome the one inch tall barrier of subtitles, you will be introduced to so many more amazing films. I got to study abroad in Hong Kong last semester, and will be studying in Milan next year. I always try and watch a movie from every country I've been lucky enough to visit. I hope that with Parasite's historic win at the Oscars, American filmgoers will start to think about foreign films as a new abundance of great films to watch, not some great mystery. My main point is, I want to see as many movies as I can because I see watching movies as an endless blockbuster store. Yes, I remember blockbuster stores, with aisles and aisles of escapism for me. I'm perfectly happy with my life and look forward to what the future has in store, but when you can walk down those aisles at any time and pick up a movie to take a break, how can you turn that down? My list is at 1400 movies right now, so here's to 1400 more.